Hey ho, and here we are again. I'm not going to do any combat today or gameplay, just going to just a little tutorial for anyone who is confused and might need a bit of help in the way of changing save files over on the PC and also how you can have multi and this is obviously needed so you can have multiple save files. So first things first, this little icon here in the bottom left of your screen should be pinned by default. If not, you can go into the search bar and type in File Explorer or you can click on the start button and click on the file. It really doesn't matter. Just get into the file explorer, essentially. So, if we go on my game, you'll see here that I do indeed have the ultimate build up. Don't worry, we will get into this later. I know, Oop, sneak peek. Yep, we are max level, right? But let's say we don't want to play as the ultimate build, right? Because I have multiple save files, as I'll show you. So if I click on this file folder here, we'll see, yep, I've got multiple save files, the True Immortal Twins, the Split Updated, the Split Build, Mercedes Fighter, Max Strength, my original Immortal Build, etc. Right? So let's say we want to play as Mercedes. So this is the save file, it's called ddda.sav. So to get to it, we want to go onto the File Explorer. This is only for Windows. If you're on Mac or Linux, first of all, congratulations on getting Dragon's Dogma to work. And second of all, I'm sorry to say at this current moment in time, I cannot help you. But for anyone on Windows, whoopee, let's go. So, on the on the left, you want to click on this PC. If you've got two hard drives, like me, or multiple hard drives, you want to go on whichever one Steam is installed on. So for me, that is this one. So from here, we want to go down to Program Files x86. Then we want to scroll down and find Steam. Oop, there we go. So we want to click on Steam. Then we're going to want to go all the way down to User Data. Not all the way down, but all the way down in terms of the folders, not the files. We want to click on User Data. Then we want the one that starts the folder that starts with 18 and ends with 44. And this one's very important. We want to click on the 36, the uh, 367500. So one that starts with 36 and ends with 500. Click on that, then we want to go to the remote. And here you'll see all the files from 0 to 7 and then ddda.sav at the bottom. I don't know if this was set up so you could have multiple save files or what, well, I really don't know. But anyway, you want to take that save file. I'm going to cut it here. So you can copy and paste it some, a couple of times and then delete it. It's up to you. But I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to paste it onto my desktop. Then we're going to go back into my file folder. Collect the Mercedes one. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste this one in. Now... If you only have one character and you're just taking the fold, the initial folder out, oh, sorry, the initial save out, but you don't have one to replace it with, don't worry, the game for some reason remembers your build, even if you've taken that save folder file out. I don't know why, it's a bit weird, but from if you go back into the game, after just removing a save file, you'll be able to continue playing as that character and you'll create a duplicate of that save file. Or, if you want to create a new character, what I would recommend is just clicking on New Game. And don't worry, because you've already copied and pasted... Sorry, just blowing my nose. If Because you've already copied and pasted your save file elsewhere, feel free to change it in the game. It's not going to affect anything. Because you've obviously created a backup. So, copied and pasted that into here. So now, if we boot up the game again... Give it a minute. Ooh, hello. Ah, oh, Capcom. That glorious company. And that bloody song we've all heard a thousand times over and are getting pretty sick of. I think the most annoying part of it is I can barely understand what she's saying. I wonder what the initial lyrics of this song were supposed to be. Oh well, doesn't matter. 
So if we load into game now again, if you obviously only have the one save file, you just click on new game to start a new character. But for me, I'm obviously swapping files, so I'm swapping characters, so I just go back to load game. Now if we have a look here, hey, would you look at that? My other character. So that's how you swap files over. I'll give you just one last demonstration because I would rather like my character back. The ultimate build back. So if we get back into the two files. So I obviously have a copy of the Mercedes one. I didn't cut that one. I just cut the first one. So that's that's safe. The Mercedes file is safe. So I can get rid of this one that's in the game, the remote folder. Delete that. Take the ultimate build one back. Move it over. Now if we boot up the game, should be back to the ultimate build and then you're good to go. And now you know, step by step, how to uh, swap files over. So, let's just check this and make sure it worked. I know it did, but just so you guys know. Do, do, do. And yes, I do use a controller, not a keyboard. I know, PC gamer who doesn't use a mouse and keyboard. Shocker. Hey, would you look at that? We're back to the ultimate build. So there you go. That's everything you need to know. So remember, you got to go into the remote folder following my directions. you got to take out the ddda.sav file. Put it somewhere safe. I would recommend a, fo a folder on your desktop or something, or maybe in your documents. But put it in a folder and name the folder the of the build. For example, um, and if we go to game backups, this ddda.sav, I put that here ages ago. I have no idea what character it is. Maybe someday I'll boot it up and find out. But all the others are labeled. So there you go. I know it's short, I, but I hope that helps someone. So, until next time, take it easy.